What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is I mean, it's probably a little bit not too different but different to what I normally do ish. Um I am gonna talk about four books that I'm currently reading or I have a like, series I have read in the last year. Um that I sort of I will recommend to you guys. I know some of you already are sort of bigger comic book readers than I am. Um so you might already be reading these. Some of these may not be. Um, I feel like some of these are the starting points for people who are collecting comic books. The only reason I'm saying that is because in the last year or so, I've started collecting comic books. So and these are books that I've I'm I, I either in my subscription or were in my subscription. Um, sorry about one sec. Ugh. About that, that's my bedroom. Um, it's been there for a fucking month, month and a half. I'm just too fucking lazy to put my bed. So ignore that. And I just ignore that and all. The fucking, that thing called daytime. It's horrible. But I hope everyone's all good. Um, this will be a quick British video. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, thank you for Retro Chef on the recent swap shop. Um, which I was a part of, um, and it was it was a fucking dirty time all round. So I will start off with a book that is only three issues so far. I don't know how far it will go. Um, I actually recently recommended this book actually the last week actually. And um, I recently went last week went to the comic book shop. Actually, last Friday I went to the comic book shop with a mate of mine. Um, his mate came at the same time with his daughter, um, and she wanted to get into books, um, but she wanted female characters. About the same time, start from number one, get that story. Um, and this is a book that I've started in June, ish. Um, you yeah, see, the first one has the Pride logo on the uh, DC logo on that. Um, so I sort of, when he sort of said that would, number one, fucking you know, help this, like, to dump people by the hand. Huh? So I'm sort of sitting there, like, trying to help out. Um, and one of them, I saw the number one of one of the books, they like, this is what I, I personally suggest this, or I mean this, I'm reading it myself. Um... And he said, is there, number two, is there no, any other issues here? I went, I'm not sure. Mate tried finding any, some, he turned. So I thought, I'll do, I'll do a little look. Found the next two. And they are... Oh, the Poison Ivy books. So number one. Uh, two. And three. I'm a big fan of... There's a pride logo on them. I am a massive fan of Poison Ivy. First, I think it's a very sexualized character. But at the same time, it's... She's sort of a strong... In a sense, if, if you think about it, she's a strong, independent woman. Um, which, but if you're a young girl did into books, that's probably a good, in a sense, a good role model kind of to look up to. Um, I think it's the characters, I like the backstories of the characters, and all that, like, in a sense, that like she, the way she comes across can probably become bad, but at the same time, but her reason behind it is good. So, if you want to save the planet, I recently watched, watch, I recently watched Swamp Thing, and I want, if anyone is a Works for DC, watches DC, or watches a TV show, comics, whatever. I would love a Swamp Thing slash Poison Ivy crossover. There probably has been. I have not seen it, but I would love that because, in a sense, same sort of thing. Swamp Thing loves is granted he, him is only in the swamp. Wants to save the swamp. Poison Ivy is its nature and as a whole. Love to see a crossover them two. Yeah. Um, the next book I'm going to recommend is a five-book 
Five Laws of Five Series book. Um, this is a book that a mate of mine told me about. Because, you know, I'm a Batman fan and also a Fables fan. Um, and that is... Batman versus Big Speed. Um, five issues. So it's a quick little story. Um, it's... It's it basically it, so. From what I remember, it's, it's been a few months since I've read it. Um, they, both, both, Big B and Big B basically came into got Batman's world into Gotham, um, and there's, there's basically both a, a mutual sort of a enemy. Initially, Batman thinks his enemy is Bigsby, but the sort of after sort of dealing with shit, it's sort of the workout. It's basically a common enemy. Um, Bigsby takes the enemy back to his world. Don't want to spoil it too much, so I actually do want people to read it. Most of I think pretty much all these books I'm suggesting to you are new issue, new books. The last year, so depending on where you buy or get your books from. You can probably order them back in the show. Um, so, yeah. The next book I am going to suggest. We'll just how fucking many there are of this one. Um, as it stands, 12 issues. Um, and that is on the show the recent one. Deathstroke Inc. Um, that's the show the recent issue. That's the show my favorite, one of my favourite issues. Like covers. No. Um, so one of these, one of the covers of one of these, the Dalvin Price, fortunately I weren't given the opportunity to get it, um, I love Deathstroke, like the character, um, it's an issue, I think, from what I'm aware of, it was meant to be a six issue series, um, they've extended it to, um, I think Shadow War, with a little cross reference, Shadow War for whatever it is, Mixed in the last three issues have been I want the the name right year one so it's chapter three of year one which has um arrow or green arrow whatever his name is um so it's some uh, so it's it's its own story but uh, some other stories sort of mixed in so if you're reading other books some do sort of mix in with that um um that's slightly annoying but I if you are reading multiple runs of books it's in a way it's a good thing um like i said it's 12 issues so far since on recently as much as i'm loving the character i love the character loving the story I'd rather it ends before I start getting bored of it. I can sort of understand why most people might have already got bored of it. Um, but for me, I'm still sort of reading it, I'm enjoying it. Um, but again, I reckon at least get to 15 tops, then I, then I should be, for me, happy. But we do that, we know. So the last one that I'm going to um, recommend is a book. I've not seen this at the animated season. Um, I've probably upset a few people there, but I've not actually seen it. Um, a mate of mine, I will try and borrow the Blu-ray of a mate of mine. But this is meant to be based between season two and three. Um, I enjoyed this book, this series, six issue series. So if you have, if you are watching the show, and you haven't read this, and you haven't seen season three of this yet, I think it's, I think it's season three. Um, maybe maybe it's worth watching. Reading this between them two, the seasons it's based between. Um, that is the Harley Quinn. Uh, the Harley Quinn, the Eat Bang Kill Tour. Um, any favourite covers? Do I have a favourite cover? Um, 
I want to be able to choose a favourite character. Fuck it, I'm going to choose that one. Date night. So it's, um. It's. Yes, yeah, so I. Fuck, I'm swearing like a whore. Um. I enjoyed this, the look. I enjoyed the six issues. Um. Basically, as one season ended, apparently this started, and as this ended, the season. Next season begins. Don't know how true that is, so again, not seen the fucking show, but I enjoy the books. Um, the art style is basically like the, from what I've seen of the trailers of the show, like the animated season. I can't remember what I did cover actually. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Yeah. Um, a lot of the, with the, yeah, I think most of these should be about three, 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 three to three pound fifty ish, probably a little bit cheaper, depending on where you buy them. If you really want them in pound books, or if it depends on your shop, you might like these, like the Harley Quinn book, the Bigby one. Um, probably because there's or there's five six issues. I'd be surprised so many shops don't put a like a little pack of a run together. I've seen shops do that. So yeah, they're the books I'm reading. If you read comics, let me know what, a what you're reading, what you what books are coming out next in month, what you're excited for, and then any, any suggestions. So there's, there's a few books that I'm picking up that I, I pick up like Poison Ivy, Deathstroke, uh, Batman Presents as well, Red Hood. I think. Mean, that now is moving back back over to White Night, where it's called. Um, I pre-ordered a Tim Smith book, which comes out in like two weeks. I was talking Masquerade. That's meant to be real good. That's meant to be real nineties gritty. How nineties books were, which obviously I've never read any nineties books, so I can't wait for that. But yeah, these are the books I'm reading. I know this video probably won't for everyone. But the reason I've done it, A, for the people that do like comics or do want to get up and get into comics, and for people that want to know a little bit more about me, especially for the new subscribers, it gives them a chance to know a little bit more about the Anvil of the Community. And again, sorry about that. That's horrible fucking daylight behind me. I'm a night owl. I prefer night. I prefer darkness. Um... That I, I disagree with. I disagree with daytime. I understand it's we need it, but it's horrible. And I don't like it. Um, but yeah, there are the books I'm reading. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, ciao for now, guys.